All right, y'all. I'm telling you. Look at that. The best homemade seven minute frosting. Mmm. Just like Mamaw made. Look at that. And the way I made it is a little easier. Some people pour syrup in it. And I think the way I'd rather make it like this, it's easier. This is how I make mine. Actually, it's not all the way how Mamaw made because she would pour syrup in hers. Uh, cook the syrup, but this is easier. This is an easier method. Now this makes a lot, so I'm not going to use all this on this cake. I love this kind of frosting on an angel food cake with strawberries. It's really good for that kind of cake too. But I'm just going to plop it right down on this cake. Mmm, this is good. You could use this on just on pound cake, whatever you want, because it's so light. And you can actually make this sugar free. Instead of the sugar, I added one and a half cups of sugar. You could do one and a half cups of like monk fruit sweetener or your favorite kind of sweetener. You could do that. You could make this sugar free. You really could. This is this is an easy, easy, easy and simple frosting. Y'all look at that. Watch it just spread right on there. It's so silky and shiny. It's gorgeous. If you want to call it that, it is. But to me, this is the best kind of frosting for a coconut cake. Now this, this is a big recipe that I just shared with you. If you had like a double layer, uh, eight or nine inch round cake that you wanted to use this frosting with, you could do that. This, this frosting's also good with an, with like a, just a plain old like devil's food cake. This is good for that as well. So there you go. Let me make sure I've got all my cooks and crooks and crannies done. Now, the coconut, the star of the show. I always use Baker's uh, because it's the best. If you get a cheaper kind, you will not like it. Trust me, especially for these kinds of recipes. Now I'm not using a whole bag. This is a big bag. Uh, this is a 14 ounce bag. I'm not gonna use the whole bag. Probably about half of the bag is all I'm gonna put on it. If you were doing this as a layer cake, you would use more. You would put some in the middle and then some around the top or on the sides. But for this kind of cake, this is gonna be for our 4th of July get together at our church. So this is, so that's why I made it in this pan. You could add some strawberries on here if you wanted to add some strawberries and coconut is so good. That's kind of my favorite. Y'all know, like have you ever had a strawberry and coconut you ever heard, uh, like if you go to like places that do like snow cones and if you look up there, a lot of them have one called tiger's blood. Well, tiger's, tiger's blood is coconut and strawberry. It's the flavors of coconut and strawberry. That's what tiger's blood is. And so I love the combination. So this would be really good to add some fresh strawberries on. Or if you wanted to put some strawberry, like really good strawberry uh, preserves or something on the cake before you put this frosting on and then uh, to let maybe layer it up, you could do that. So there's always possibilities, y'all. But look at there. That's easy peasy coconut poke cake mm, with seven minute frosting. The old timey kind too. And I could lick this. I think I will. I think I will take a. Yeah. That's good. It's so good. Mmm. Delicious. So there you go, y'all. I hope you make this. This is an easy cake. A good, easy recipe, especially for summertime. Now you want to chill this at least several hours or overnight. Cover it up with some plastic wrap and just put it in the fridge and let it sit. And y'all, as they say down home, your tongue will slap your brains out because that's how good it is. <laughs> all right, thank y'all for watching Mountain Cooking with Missy, where's nothing fancy.
Just good eating. Bye, guys.